Hey guys, so I have had a very sleepless rough night. I'm so mentally fried and um, sleep deprived because I toss and turn all night. I had nightmares last night just worrying about Willow. Um, I've just been crying and oh gosh, I am honestly just like a wreck, honestly. I just... So I texted, I had Willow's doctor's cell phone number because when I was pregnant with her, he gave it to me. Um, he said he liked to give it to all his pregnant girls in case they have any concerns or worries that they're easily able to contact him. But I texted him because I wasn't happy with the treatment that I got at the walk-in clinic for her yesterday. Um, I feel like he he didn't look in her throat or her ears, and I don't know. I just I'm I was appreciative that he sent her um, for blood work and everything, but I just like it just wasn't enough for me. Um, so I texted her doctor last night and just basically told him how worried I was and like scared for her life because I was scared for her life. I am scared for her life. I'm just sick about this. It's horrible watching your child not eating and drinking and she's lost a whole pound and like she's already on the low side of the weight so for her to lose a whole pound is like really bad and so I basically just like told him how worried I was and um, asked if there was any way that he could squeeze me in today to see her and um, he didn't text me back last night but he texted me back first thing this morning which I really really appreciate um, that he's the kind of doctor that would do that, you know. He apologized and said that he couldn't see her today. He was solid booked with appointments and I understand that. Um, but he did, he said that he was going to call Emerge. He didn't think that I should wait until next week to see him and to call Emerge and, or to go into Emerge and he would phone and talk to the doctor there and tell them what's going on. And then he told me to to let him know how it goes there. So the doctor in Emerge was so nice. Um, I just feel like really thankful today that I've had, he was such a nice doctor. He looked over her blood work. He listened to my concerns about everything that was going on. He checked her tummy. He checked her bum area to see if there was any tears causing like blood in her poop. He checked her ears, her throat, her chest. He checked um, to, for her signs of dehydration. He said that everything looked pretty normal. He said that her blood work came back and something about her platelets um, showing that they were, like she's probably got some kind of a viral infection. So he said that's what's most likely causing her not wanting to eat and her diarrhea and stuff. He said if she was vomiting and diarrhea, that would be a bigger concern, but because she's not vomiting, she doesn't look um, dangerously dehydrated. So the little bit of fluids that we are getting into her is enough to make it so she's not like dangerously dehydrated. So he did, um, he gave me the option of calling a pediatrician. He said he didn't personally think that she needs to see one quite yet, but he said that he has kids and he knows how worrying it can be. And, um, he offered to call them if I wanted to. Um, he also said that he's there tomorrow night. So like after eight o'clock, if I want to bring her in, if I think that she's getting worse, he'll see her again. He thinks it's good if the, the same doctors are looking at her, which I agree. I'm excited to take her to her appointment on Tuesday. I told him that I will just see how it goes. And if it is a viral infection, hopefully it's just gonna pass. And then if not, if it gets worse, if she seems like 
she's more dehydrated, I'm gonna take her back to him. And thankfully I have my doctor who I can text if I get really worried as well. I just, oh my goodness, you guys. I feel kind of embarrassed for texting him. Um, yeah, I don't know. The doctor on Emerge, he was so nice, but he said like, asked if my husband worked in town or if he worked away. He said sometimes, um, they get like moms come in here really worried and it's just overstressed because their husbands are working away and they're just overstressed but I don't know I think I am overstressed I know I am and it's just I don't do well with this kind of stuff and I get so panicky and worried so anyways this is going to be the video for today it's so long such a rambly little video I'm sorry I'm kind of just like scatterbrained I will update you guys and let you know how things go. Um, we'll make a video of some sort on Saturday and um, I'll kind of let you guys know how it's going. Please pray for Willow. Um, if you're the type of person that uses prayer, please pray for her. Um, it's so hard seeing your child sick, honestly, like, I don't know how people deal with these kinds of things. I've had my fair share of scares with the boys and stuff. And it's just, it doesn't get easier, you know, with each child that, that something happens to. It doesn't get any easier. It sucks really bad. So, anyways, I'm going to quit rambling because I just, I'm rambling like nonsense. So, I'm going to go in and snuggle her and just try and get her to drink some stuff and eat some stuff. So, we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.